Hey guys, we are out here in a nice, lovely Colorado snowstorm, and we have set up our courthouse here. Um, got it all staked out. We have quite a bit of snow, um, and I think we're going to install this liner just in case we get any condensation. So let's jump into it. So the reasons why we would install a liner in the wintertime is number one, there's a lot of moisture outside. When we are burning a stove inside of this tent, um, it's gonna melt a little bit of the snow, create some more moisture, some heat, create a big temperature difference. We also, as we're staked down here, if you take a look, we do not have any ventilation coming underneath this sod skirt, which is great for that really cold breeze right now, but our breath in here is gonna create a lot of condensation. So we're gonna get to installing this here in a second. All right, first thing we're gonna do is sadly take the gloves off <laughs> and we are going to open up our liner here. We should have some cordage with it as well as this liner itself here. And there's our cordage here. That's gonna be useful for tying it in. And we are going to identify a few of the areas here. Find my ridge line right here. This is going to go on the top of the tent. As you can see, uh, we have a front where there's not an opening for the stove jack. And then we have the back with the opening with the stove jack. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna tie it into the top. Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do here is probably drop the pole unless you're eight foot tall and tie it in up to this loop up here, which you can see. As you see, there's that little piece of cordage on there. I'm just gonna tie this in. I'm gonna try and tie it in pretty tight so I don't have a whole lot of slack. So I'll tie this guy in real nice. And then we're gonna do the same to the front. And just so you can learn from my mistakes here, you're gonna wanna put the pole through the liner here um, instead of just tying it directly on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Tie this guy up here. So I'm just gonna push the pole in drop it down so I can get to this loop right here and again tying that in pretty tight now that's tied in up there I'm gonna push our pull back and raise this back up so now you have two options um, you can start tying all your cordage to these loops down here um, just a nice little simple knot will work and then you'll thread them through the line lock or you can just start threading them through the line lock. In my use case, I'm just gonna thread them through the line lock first. And so I'll just be threading through the line lock, through the back, and then through the front. Uh, we have some more videos on this. Check them up there. Um, line locks are super efficient and simple. So we're gonna tie the rest of these in. We'll be right back with you. All right, so once we have all of our line locks tied in or you're all tied in here, uh, I like to start from the front, as you see, I already have done. And then I am going to, again, take the tension side, which is the bottom of the line lock. And I'm going to just tie a little overhand knot into all of these guy out points. Um, these are the points that make the courthouse a wall tent. So I'm just gonna tie that up, cinch it down, and then cinch our liner down nice and tight. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and continue to do that all the way around the tent from the front to the back. All right, we have our liner all tied in. The last thing to do here is just secure this part so you can run a stove. You see there's a big opening up here to the stove jack. So I'm just gonna tie this into this provided loop up here and we are done with our liner install. All right, so as you can see, our liner install is done here on the courthouse. It's best to have the straightest wall possible to get the best tension. However, you do want just a little bit of room in between the outer wall and the inner wall that is now the liner. Um, so that's not directly having condensation on it. The condensation will drip down um, and you won't have any issues. The liner also adds a little bit of insulation in here. Um, it's nominal, but it does help. Um, but yeah, we are all installed. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys now know how to install a liner inside your courthouse and helps keep that condensation off of you. You guys have a great day.